this section is about our contact form we add a title on top and then we add a brief paragraph then we will have the input fields which is the first one is the full name and then we have the another input field for our email address and then we have the phone number input field and then we have a text area that allows the customer to type their message or whatever they want to put here and then we will have a button to press it and uh, send the information to us um, and also we will have these little icons with the uh, in input fields and we get these icons from uh, uh, Font Awesome as we did for other sections let's go ahead and build this add another comment for our new section which is the contact section simply begin with div with an ID of contact class of contact inside that div we create another div with class of container inside our container another div with class of row inside our row we put our h2 tag and the paragraph tag h2 say contact inside the p tag we just add a text after our p tag we create our columns columns large device six columns column medium device six columns so we want this column to be shown with the same number of column on both devices so command D to duplicate this section uh, is 12 columns and we divide it into two so the first section the first part will be six column and the second part will be six column in the first part we create our input fields so to create a, the input field in bootstrap you wrap it with a div of input group class of input group and we want this field to be be large group LG that means it will give you a large input field so inside this we add a span if you guys saw the demo it has small icons on the left side of each input field for for email it has the envelope icon and for phone number it has the color icon and for name it has the avatar icon so this is where we put our those icons so span with class of input group add-on and we gave it an ID of sizing add-on one and right here we put our icon but we will do that later on so let's first create our input field so to create our input field we create input with class of form control so the type will be text but we need to add one more thing to this to connect to connect our icon with the input field so that will be area describe describe by and we will put the ID of the span here sizing add-on one so we need to copy this two more times because we have three input fields on the left 
copy, paste, paste. And we need to add a placeholder for each input field. For this one, full name. Write email address. For this one, phone number. Now it's time to add our small icons to the left. So let's go to Fund Awesome. Let's search for the avatar. So you just type user, you will get this little avatar. Command C, copy. Go back to our code editor and we will place it right here between our span. Go back to Fund Awesome. Search for envelope, which is for email address. Oops. Copy this one. Command C, come back to our code, code editor and paste it right here between the span. Go back to Fund Awesome, search for call. We will get this color icon. Copy, go back to our code editor, paste it between the span. Let's look how this look on the browser. Refresh the page. Come down. Here we have our three input fields. So now we need to put the text editor and the button here. So when the user put their information, they could click on it and send the information. Let's go back to our code editor. So it will be between the, this column. We had, if you remember in the beginning, we had two columns, two, two divs with six columns. So in the first six column, we put all the input fields. And in this one, we will put our button and the text area. Play the div with class of input group. We add a text area with class of form control. This is the bootstrap class that gives it the active and focus style. For the number of columns, we put 80 columns. And for the number of rows, we put six rows. The next thing is to create our button. So button with class of BTN, BTN. And we want this uh, button to be a large button. So we add LG, button LG, that will make it large. And inside this, we will write submit your message. Let's save it, go to the browser, refresh the page. Here we got our text area and we got our button right here, but we will add some style to it and it will look nice. Let's go to the style sheet and style all these input fields on the text area. To add a style to our contact form, Let's add a comment so we know where our style for this section starts. Just write contact and comment this out. 
first we need to add some style to our section so contact we add padding we want to give it a 50 pixel padding on top 0 and 80 pixel at the bottom we want all the text in this section to be aligned center let's add a style to the p tag give it a padding of padding bottom of 80 pixel and give it a color of 737373 add style to our h2 tag give it a color of 4c 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 give it a margin of 20 pixel on top 0 and 20 pixel the bottom we want to add some margin to our input group which is the wrapper for our input field give it margin bottom 25 pixel should be enough let's give this uh, the input field we want to get rid of those uh, border radius which is by default it comes with uh, that's the bootstrap style so let's get rid of that uh, default style to do that you just uh, add contact it has the class of form control target the class and add border radius zero because it's the bootstrap default style in order to override that so we write important we also need to get rid of the border radius on the icon the small icons on the left contact span border radius zero add the important tag the next thing is to add some style to our button the contact btn let's get rid of the border radius on this one too give it a width of 100 percent so it will be only take 100 percent width of the six columns that we give it to the right give it a font size so the font size will help to show the text on the button larger give it 15 pixel and add a background color f08080 and we want the color of the text inside the button to be white we want to add a an hover effect to this button when we hover over the button so we want the background color to change into this color a a eight five nine five nine and we want the color to be white
I know we also add the color right here and uh, we give it a white color but the reason we put it here the that's the bootstrap hover uh, default style when we hover it if we don't add this white color the color will be black so that's why we have to add the white color here again to make sure when we hover over the button it uh, it it, sh it still keeps it white so let's save this and go to our browser refresh the page here we are you see in our input fields we don't have the border radius anymore our icons are there and there's no there is no border radius on this one either and then we have our text area with our button oh it looks like we haven't got the hover effect color so let's see what's going on we probably need to add a important here to override the bootstrap hover style refresh it's over yeah it's got fixed that's it for this section let's go to the next section